The uh, Petraeus story has really exploded over the past 24 hours. It was pretty confusing already. Um, you remember Petraeus resigned on Friday as head of the CIA over an affair with his biographer, Paula Broadwell, um, who'd been sending harassing emails to another woman, Jill Keeley, based in Florida. Um, the FBI sort of stumbled uh, on this after Keeley complained, and the whole thing kind of exploded. Very embarrassing for, for the Obama administration and for its National Security Command. Uh, and now there's a kind of another bizarre uh, twist. It now transpires that a second US general, um, uh, General Allen in Afghanistan, has also been corresponding with, with Ms. Keeley in Florida. Um, and the FBI, the Defense Secretary uh, Leon Panetta confirmed earlier today, is now examining between 20 and 30,000 pages of documents uh, which show kind of inappropriate communication, um, as the Defense Secretary puts it, as American officials put it, between General Allen and Ms. Keeley. And so what started off as a kind of, you could say, a love triangle, if you like, that there appeared to be a dimension of jealousy between these two women, certainly on Broadwell's side, has now morphed into what you could describe as a love rectangle, except for the fact that there's another element as well, which is that the, the FBI agent who appears to have sort of set this whole thing in train has also himself sent f photos, compromising photos, to Ms. Keeley, allegedly, with no shirt on, in other words, of a fairly kind of intimate nature. So I think we're now talking about a love pentagon. Uh, either way, this is a salacious story which is convulsing everybody. It's all over the American press. And of course, it's sucking in the most powerful agencies of state uh, in the US. The FBI are involved, um, the CIA are of course involved because uh, Petraeus is now gone, fallen on his sword. The Obama administration is involved, the military is involved, uh, the Pentagon is involved. Uh, and so it's, it's one hell of a story, to coin a phrase. In terms of what happens next, I think there'll be kind of further embarrassment all around. We don't actually know precisely what the details are of this kind of correspondence. Uh, I mean, if this were the 18th century, you'd call it kind of epistolatory, but it's not. It's by email between General Allen and, and Ms. Keeley, who kind of uh, left looking rather demure in a yellow dress um, from her house kind of besieged by reporters. So we don't know, we don't know whether this is salacious, we don't know if it's innocent, we don't know what's in it, but I suspect there'll be more leaks about that. And I suspect that General Allen's career, bear in mind this is the man who's in charge of uh, more than 80,000 troops in, in, in Afghanistan and who's about to be given a job as sort of supreme commander in Europe uh, and, and the US's top man in NATO. Um, I think he may too have to fall on his sword. I mean, that, that kind of confirmation process has been stayed uh, at Leon Panetta's request. Panetta has asked Obama if that's okay. Obama says he's agreed. But I think General Allen's career, you know, hangs by a thread at the moment. And then we have to see whether this, you know, this love pentagon morphs into an into a even more bizarre shape with perhaps six or seven different sides as opposed to five, which is what we have at the moment.